Hi everyone, it's Sue. Welcome to my channel today. Welcome to my CW Planner 42 collage. Now the uh, prompts for this one. An image in black and white and I have one of these which um, they're part of something I did for a fodder challenge a little while ago and that they also tie in with one of the other prompts, the botanicals. So that's why I chose that one. Something in the colour you don't typically use. I've gone with um, a yellow because I don't really use yellow very often. Um, so I've grabbed that and what I'm thinking oops, is to do something in the background with one of the stencils. Uh, what else have I got? Botanicals, so flowers or plants. I've grabbed this um, image here which um, I've done several things with actually. This one's been tea dyed, but I thought that was nice. And of course it has the yellow uh, flowers as well. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I might tear that one out actually. I'm not sure. Uh, graph paper or lined paper. Some graph paper. Um, chocolate or candy wrapper. Currently my favorite chocolate. Um, and anything that starts with the letter Y. Okay, now um, conveniently, or yeah, pretty much conveniently, I did when I was looking at colors I don't use, I had the choice of brown or yellow. And then when I saw the next prompt, um, the anything with the starting with the letter yellow, I went with the yellow. And I actually have, um, excuse the grotty block, I have a rubber stamp, a silicon stamp, sorry, with uh, the letter Y. So I thought I might use that somehow in the background and I've also got my Distress Oxide in the Scattered Straw which is a yellowy colour. Alright, let's have a look. Um, bigger things in the background. So let me just find a ruler and I'm going to tear this down somehow like so. Uh, maybe up here and now the chocolate wrapper I'm not sure if I want to use that hole or not it's quite large um, and this is also quite large so I'm not sure maybe I swap them over maybe that way that way I don't lose all of the chocolate sort of labeling I guess and I have the botanical which could go somehow or other, like so. Actually, I might leave that one as a piece rather than cut it out because this one's cut out. Um, okay, and I do have the yellow stencil, which I was thinking of putting in the background and the stamping, sort of finishing it off. So, okay, I'm thinking I'm going to cut down a few things. So I'm going to cut this down maybe to here and maybe a little off the top um, so that's there and now this is too big so we might chop that there sometimes I um, when I just go I'll oh, chop it down sometimes I think eh, maybe I shouldn't have chopped it down <laughs> uh, maybe there now because this to me is the focal image I'm thinking that needs to go in the middle um, so maybe no, I don't want to cover that little ladybug, so maybe something like that. Maybe like that. I think so. Okay, so let's just do the background. Um, just looking where I can squirt some yellow paint. I might just use the back of the chocolate box. I won't need too much. It's quite thick this one, obviously haven't used it for a while. And I have a little sponge. Now I'm thinking maybe over here. Oof, might be a little bit too thick actually. I probably could have got a better sponge than this one, but never mind. Sometimes you have to make do with what's on the desk. If I do that, maybe. Paint's quite thick, quite thick. I 
think this half of the stencil will be covered anyway, so I might not fuss too much. Okay, um, alright, I think I might add a little bit of water to that paint. Hopefully that'll work. And we might pop a little bit up here somehow. I don't think that'll work better. I'm not fussed about getting a perfect image, it is in the background. So it's kind of more just to put a bit of colour rather than um, have a perfect image. Okay, yep, I like that. Maybe we'll have a little bit here going off the page. That always kind of is effective. And it will also link the actual page with the background provided by Marguerite. If you haven't already seen her YouTube video, she does have the Christmas planner available as well. Uh, unfortunately for me, it's um, probably not something I will get simply because it's um, a hard copy or a physical product, which um, for us to get to Australia, it probably costs the same in postage as the product itself. Um, which is not Marguerite's fault by any means, um, it's just the way it is. So I probably won't get one. Um, if the prompts are available um, on her website or whatever, I may actually look at doing some of them. I'm not sure yet. I do do a December daily anyway, so it may be too much to do the both. But I'll think about it when it gets closer to Christmas. Okay, so that's my background. Uh, now I need some glue. So, where is my art glitter glue? Okay, so we had this one at the top. Um, am I going to distress the edges today? Um, I don't think I will actually. I might leave it undistressed, not distressed. Okay, that was there. Okay, this one. I think it was somehow like so. Like so. And now this one. Always fun. Lots and lots of um, thin bits to put your glue on. Okay. And let's pop it down here. Okay. Now all we need is the stamping. So. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Now, I might just give it a bit of a test. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. Okay. So, I might just randomly place it. Now, the idea is that it kind of links everything together. It gives it that common thread that... Um, it sort of ties things in to me. I like to have something that ties everything together. Okay, I think I might stop there. Maybe another one up here. Okay. Hmm, I quite like that actually. Yeah, I do. I really like that. And you know what I was just thinking? I'm wondering if I could put a bit of yellow in there. Do I have a brush that's suitable to use? Yes, I think I do. Alright, let's just have a look here. Now, if I pop this onto my mat and pop a bit of water, that will make it um, enough to run everywhere. 
just a little bit of colour, maybe just on the top there. Now I've got to be careful because it was printed on my inkjet and if the water hits the the printed side as you might, I don't know if you can see it, but it's already it will start to run, make the black ink run. So it's really just a hint of colour. Not the best colouring in, I will point that out. Okay, alright. Yeah, I quite like that actually. Okay, now before I go any further, I shall clean up this mess, otherwise I will put my arm in it because that's a guaranteed thing that I do. Alright. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, now I'll just double check because I do have a habit of somehow missing things. An image in black and white something in the colour you don't typically use, well that's the yellow, botanicals, graph paper, chocolate candy wrapper and the Y. Okay, done. Great, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.